back to my channel so today's video is on this makeup look that i have right here honestly i wasn't planning on doing my makeup because i just recently got a root canal done so i feel like <sighs> i'm swollen and i don't know i wanted to rest and i want to take a few days off but it's really hard for me to do it because i love you guys so much and i miss you and i just have to film so anyways I did this look with the new Morphe palette. You guys really enjoy it. And it really, those two videos did very well. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Um, so I kind of wanted to do something different because I know there's a lot of pinks and purples in here. And I was like, you know what? Everybody's doing pinks and purples. Let me do a brown with this beautiful um, glitter right here. This reminds me of like Halloween for some reason because Halloween has, it's like orange, black, and that's what the glitter has. I don't even, okay, I'm, let me put this down because I don't know, I want to drop my palette. Uh, that's exactly what this glitter has. I don't know if you guys are able to pick it up with the lights and everything because they're very bright. Um, so I kind of wanted to do a look based on that because I know everybody's doing pinks and purples. So I kind of wanted to switch it up for you guys a little bit. Uh, let me know if you guys want any other combination of colors before I move on. I do want to uh, maybe do four more videos using this palette. I don't want to bore you guys uh, me using the same palette. I just want to give you a variety of different looks that you can use to do this palette. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any other combination of colors before I move on to the next palette and we'll say see you later Morphe 39 palette before yeah so if you guys are, definitely want to purchase it or anything definitely use my code pretty grits to money off it just helps me out a lot it helps my channel out and it just helps me so i can able i can buy more tacos yeah so anyways we're gonna go ahead and do this i'm gonna be using this brown shade right here this warm shade right here and i decided to take out my uh jaclyn hill um brushes uh, if you guys are interested, again, pretty great for so many off. You can use it in stores or uh, online. So, excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Morphe R39 brush. And I'm going to apply this right onto my crease. And I'm going to take my time doing this. I kind of like to listen to music while I'm doing my makeup because it just relaxes me a lot. But I know you guys really like me talking in my videos, so I have to like stop the music and just concentrate and do the makeup so i'm just making sure so i kind of like to look like this so i can see where the makeup the eyeshadow is actually gonna sit because since i have hooded eyes i want you to be able to see those shadows so i'm just going to bring this out a little bit more I think that's good enough for me right there doesn't have to be clean because we're gonna go ahead and do a cut crease anyways so yeah then I'm gonna go with the Jaclyn uh, brush this one is the JH 42 brush it's a tiny small little brush and I'm gonna dip it into this black shade right here and I kind of my mirror is in the way i need to get me a bigger mirror because this is too low so i have to like prop it up with other products so i can actually um see myself um so yeah so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of that black into the outer corner and you know what i forgot to apply uh setting powder because i had to redo my under eye here and i'm definitely gonna have to redo it over here but for now i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some setting powder just so it catches any fallout or anything like that that should be fine and I'm just going to go ahead and set this right here. And I'm actually going to kind of bring it in. Not all the way because I'm still going to do the cut crease. So for now, I'm just going to leave it there. For, for now, just leave it there. And then I'm just going to go back and blend it out so it doesn't stay harsh. Okay, we're just going to leave it there. We'll, we'll fix it. Don't worry about it. Then I'm going with the Jacqueline JH41 brush. This is like a concealer brush, I want to say. No, but I still use it as a concealer because it works. So I grabbed my Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. This is in the color Medium Golden. It's a very cream thick uh, concealer. So I'm just going to 
grab a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna start cutting the crease and I do like to take my time with it because I don't want to mess up so I really went a little high here so I'm gonna go a little higher here just because I want you guys to be able to see it and I'm actually doing a half cut crease not all the way so this is just going to help the shadows pop a lot more so yeah I think that's good all right so moving on I'm actually going to use this one I don't think they sell it anymore this is the mixing medium from Mac um, for this eyeshadow I definitely want to use something to uh, help the glitter stick because I know if I don't apply anything this glitter would definitely fall um, so where is my brush that I used to apply it? I'm using the Jaclyn JH43 sorry I need glasses so I'm going blind and let me just clean it up a little bit because it still has that glitter oh my God. of that mixing medium and I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this right in the middle not all the way because I'm going to apply a different color here and then I'm just gonna go and grab that Halloweenish glitter this one right here you can definitely apply it with your finger I'm gonna do it with the brush and then I go back with my finger to reapply it just so that it shows a little bit more So I'm going to take my time and do this. I'm not grabbing a lot as you guys can see. I'm doing little by little just because I don't want it to get chunky and then it's just not going to look cute. So little by little. And I'm just patting it in just to make sure that it's where I want it. I just feel like with the mixing medium, it just helps it like to go where I want it, so. All right. I think that looks good. All right. Then I'm gonna go with the Jaclyn uh, JH38 brush. And I'm going with the eyeshadow topper, this one right here. And I'm going to spray my brush a little bit with a little bit of the All Nighter from Urban Decay. And then dip it into that shadow. And that's actually going to be the inner corner color. So I'm just going to bring it in. And then just kind of follow where I put the concealer. So it doesn't look messy. You don't want it to like look crazy. So just apply it there. I'm going to go back and tap a little bit more. Just so that it pops a little bit. What the hell do I have on my eyebrow? Oh my god, I have eyelash glue on my eyebrow. Are you kidding me? Okay, I don't even know how that happened. But... It's there. Oh my god. Okay. Very cool. Alright. So then I'm grabbing that same brush and just going to apply a little bit of that onto my brow bone. Just to give me a little color. And going back again with that brown. Just kind of blend this out. Alright. I'm going to grab that little pencil again. And then I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. You don't want it, you don't want it to be too crazy, but you want to be able to bring it in. Just a little bit so it shows. I mean, I'm going to apply glitter on top of that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just clean out the fallout. All right. So I'm going to grab the new um, Heavy Metals from Urban Decay. This one is in Starfire. It's a brown one. And even though I already have glitter, I'm going to go ahead and apply this over the top. As you guys can see, I did it here. So I'm just going to go and follow that same line. And if you mess up, you can definitely go with a spoolie and just scratch it off a little bit and then you're good to go. So I'm just going to let that dry. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. These are the Into You from the Bold Cosmetics. Uh, pretty great for some money off if you guys are interested in purchasing some lashes from them. I really love their lashes, so definitely check them out. They're really reusable. I've been using these lashes for a while and I keep using the same ones as long as you clean out the glue and the mascara you should be fine okay so i'm just gonna let this get tacky a little bit while it's getting tacky i'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lash line i'm gonna grab the black shadow again with a little um 
Jaclyn Hill brush and I'm just going to apply this right in the outer corner. Okay, then I'm grabbing another Jaclyn Hill brush, the number 40. Dip it into that same brown I used for my crease and then I'm going to apply that on top of the black and then coming this way. So I kind of want to um, smudge it out and blend it out the black. So if I feel like I dis the black disappeared, I go back again and just reapply it a little bit. Just so that you can see it. Then I'm going back again with the Mixing Medium. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And that same glitter, I'm going to apply this right here. Like that. All right. just going to grab another brush and just kind of clean out the fallout. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lashes. So wait, I need to apply my lashes with my left hand. And then just as close as you can to your real lashes. Alright, so I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of the Cover FX Concealer and apply a little bit under the eyes. And then just blend it out. just to clean out the fallout and then I go back again and set it and then just set up the excess powder so for blush I did use the new one from Too Faced this one is a berries and bubbly it looks like this I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of that with my Jaclyn Hill brush to bring me back some color all right so for mascara I'm using the milk makeup waterproof mascara the Kush one all right for lipstick I'm gonna use the Gerard cosmetics in nude pretty grace for some money off if you guys are interested I really like this one. dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go on top of it with the dose of colors over the top oh my god I almost dropped it oh my god okay And yeah, so this should be the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And let me know what other combination of colors you guys want me to use from this palette. And yeah, thank you guys again for watching. And stay tuned for more videos. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.